Let's talk now about Fed Chair Jay Powell and his latest comments in front of the European Central Bank. We're joined now by Yahoo Finance's Fed whisperer, Brian Chung, for more details. Hi, Brian. Hi, Kristen. Well, it wasn't just Fed Chairman Jay Powell. It was also the heads of the European Central Bank, Christine Lagarde, in addition to the Bank of England, Andrew Bailey, speaking about how their warning of the uh, challenging next few months, despite the fact that there has been positive developments on the vaccine front. Here's what Jay Powell said at a press or rather at a conference with the European Central Bank just earlier this morning. You mentioned the vaccine. So that is uh, certainly good and welcome news for the medium term, although significant challenges and uncertainties remain about timing, um, production, distribution, and the efficacy for different groups. Um, and from our standpoint, it's just too soon to assess with any confidence the implications of the news for the path of the economy, especially in the near term. And I would say with the virus now spreading, spreading the next few months could be challenging. We can hear right there, next few months will be challenging. The same is largely true in the jurisdictions of the Eurozone and the United Kingdom, where the other central bank uh, heads also represent. Christine Lagarde at the ECB saying she doesn't want to be, quote, exuberant about the vaccine. A lot of questions about the ability to produce that vaccine in mass in addition to administering it. Whereas in the UK, Andrew Bailey saying that his economists had already baked in expectations of developments on the vaccine front into its forecast. So unlikely that this will brighten that per se. But they did say that broadly speaking, this does remove some of the uncertainty. But obviously, as this stretches into a full on year, as we head into 2021 of living with the virus globally, concerns about the long term damage, people who have been disjointed or dis, uh, basically distanced from their jobs, whether or not there could be longer term implications for getting those people back to work, even when there is a vaccine in the future.